Hey, what's up, everyone? This is me, Dre. Now, as a YouTuber, I enjoy what I do because I like sharing my thoughts and opinions. Now, it's obvious when you look at my videos, you see who I am, you see my name. There's nothing uh, fake about that. That's my screenshot of me sitting in my living room at my computer desk. Uh, that is my name in the year I was born, Andre Shorter, 71. Uh, when I make my videos, I touch on a lot of different subjects. I don't have a particular subject that I do. I do challenge videos, video game, gameplay, uh, reaction videos. And I also do, uh, which is the majority of my videos, I do a lot of commentary. Most of what I do is about issues happening here in the United States because uh, I, I just feel like there's not a lot that I can touch upon with international current events because here in the United States, we're so fucked up as it is that it's not for me to talk about issues happening across the sea. Not that they're less important, but I like to talk about things happening here that we have direct impact or that's directly impacting us. And most recently, we have a lot of issues happening with uh, black men getting killed by cops, uh, white cops. And this isn't me trying to stir the pot of any type of racial discontent but over the past 12 months it's been in the news uh, black cops do kill and it's usually black people you don't see really a lot of instances where a black cop is killing a white person but over the past couple of months you've been seeing a lot of instances where there's been police brutality or lethal force use with white cops against blacks and once again this isn't me calling out white people because I've got a lot of white friends. Uh, my best friend is white, my ex-wife is white, uh, my two older kids are half white, so uh, I get along with everyone, that's just how I was raised. Uh, but with all the stories that I've done, uh, some time ago, about a year ago or so, had this motherfucker in right here, there's just a recent uh, message for a notification for email, but at the time, this motherfucker right here, he was going by the name of Hector Vargas. Now he calls himself Hector the Race Realist. He's really Hector the Bitch. And he's one of those Latinos that believes because he's got a lighter complexion of skin that he gets a pass for being a white guy. But I've told him before, if you go to any one of these small country towns where it's predominantly white and he pulls out his driver's license and they see his name, they're going to assume that He's fresh across the border and that he needs to show his papers. That's the truth. Uh, just like me going to Jasper, Texas, where James Byrd was killed uh, years ago. He was killed by the racists that dragged them behind their truck. Uh, I go to Jasper, Texas, and some Joe Bob is going to look at me and think that I should be uh, hanging from a rope, or I should be out in the field picking cotton, or I should be serving them lemon tea or something like that. Uh, you can't stop racism, but... It's funny when a minority tries to discriminate against another minority as if his skin or his blood doesn't bleed the same color of red. Uh, that's what trips me out. So this motherfucker, you know, we had a strong verbal exchange and eventually I banned him from my channel. But in true racist troll fashion, he's always peeping my channel. He's always trying to find a way to get onto my channel so that he can see what the fuck I'm doing. So. Recently, I made a video about George Zimmerman because he had the um, road rage incident with Matthew Apperson, and Matthew Apperson uh, shot into his vehicle. George Zimmerman walked away with just a few cuts on his face from shattered glass. But one gentleman made a comment, and here, Hector the bitch, that's what I just call him from this point forward, he makes this comment here. So I decided to go to his channel, uh, Google Plus channel, just to take a look and see what's going on because when you look at guys like this you you get a, a good sense of who they are because he's always speaking negatively about black people um as a latino you know he says uh, mayate which is spanish for nigger so he's always talking a whole bunch of bullshit about black people but usually from my experience dealing with racist assholes on the internet you go to the Google Plus channel and you learn a lot about them. So I went to this asshole's page. And of course, you have him here, people my channel. He's got other information about black people. A lot of his videos are about 
something that's happening with black people. It's like he's fixated with black people. Um, talk about a minority that is uh, discriminating against blacks. Not to say that Mexicans don't discriminate against blacks because I've been discriminated. Me as a black man, when I formerly lived in Arlington, Texas, I used to drive to Dallas five to six days a week going to different Mexican restaurants singing with mariachi groups because I sing in Spanish even though I don't speak it and I love mariachi music. Uh, I've got videos of me singing so you kind of get the gist of it. And there were a lot of Mexicans that did not like my presence. Not And it was not only because I was black, it's because they hated the fact that I could sing better than them. And I had to deal with that discrimination going into Mexican restaurants, sitting down, waiting for my turn, and having waitresses come and stick their ass in my face, have their back turned towards me, but not giving me any type of um, menu so that I could order food. I dealt with that on a daily basis. There were some places that were good to me and some that treated me like shit, but I didn't let that get to me because in the end, I was there to sing and win money, and I did that. Uh, but now I live here in the Rio Grande Valley, and there are Mexicans down here that don't like black people. But, you know, that's fine by me. I'm proud of who I am, and that's, you know, and I don't discriminate against them. I'm married into a Mexican family, so I have no issue with anybody at all. But this motherfucker right here, when you look at him, it's all about his uh, distaste for black people, as you call them, Mayate weather instead of Mayweather. Um, he's got a real issue against black people and that's just his own inferiority complex because maybe he's got a small dick I don't know but maybe a black man took his woman or in his case he's probably a bitch so maybe a, a gay black man took his lover so uh, that and I'm guessing that's probably what it is uh, but this message this video is a call out to Hector the bitch um, I challenge you once again because I've challenged you before. Make a video. Talking shit is one thing, but make a video. Show your face. If you're comfortable with yourself, if you're comfortable being the racist asshole that you are, go ahead and make a video so that the world can see who you are. Uh, it's not like I'm going to come over to where you are and challenge you to a fight because gay bashing is illegal in this country and I don't want to beat up on a faggot like you. And this is me speaking out against gays because I have gay family members but for bitches like you I think I would make an exception and I'd be okay with that anyway as you're looking through his page you see him right here all up in my videos and shit look at all these videos and it's always something about black people here's another one of my videos that he's all up on this guy has a fixation with black people like he wants to suck a black dick or he just wants to hang from black balls Whatever the case is, his fixation with black people is apparently obvious. Here's another one of my videos right here. This guy's is all over it. Now, keep in mind, I blocked this asshole. And here he is, always looking at my YouTube channels, looking at my videos, because he's very concerned with what the fuck I'm doing. Anyway, I just want to call this bitch out, because he is a bitch with a capital B. Uh, but if you like this video, I hope that you like, subscribe, and share. Peace.